hey y'all hey so it's been a while since we've done a video yeah um a lot has been going on life has been crazy busy as you all everybody's life has been yeah. flipped upside down this year <laughs> uh, it's just been crazy but um anyway we uh i guess we have something we feel like we need to share with y'all um about something we feel like god is calling us his stirred up within yeah his stirred up within spirits. our spirits and um he uh it has to do with our farm we're still keeping all of our animals we're still going to farm in fact um he's given us the dream you know that to farm for a living and and part of that is so that we can spend as much time together as a family um investing in each other working together building and a legacy for our children that they can inherit and yes they continue can to continue run to if that's run. what they'd like to do yep and the other part is uh so that we have time for the ministry that we feel like he's calling us to um i guess you want to you can yeah. talk about that so we really have this big this dream that god has been putting in our heart and it's just continue to grow and grow and grow until it's like wow this dream is huge like there's no way we could ever accomplish this on our own yep. and you know that's one of the ways we kind of know it's a god dream because god's going to place dreams in you that are bigger than you they're god-sized dreams so that you know when when they happen you know it was him that did it <laughs> completely yeah. but um what he's really put in our hearts is that with our farm that we'll have enough space so we're like a huge you know lots and lots and lots of land lots of uh, land uh, but a huge farm that has facilities um to be able to host people there and um maybe some cabins or something of that sort and then also a meeting facility that you can hold services and um close gatherings and meals things like that and in the ministry what we um our mission statement that we feel like god has given us is deeply connecting people with the heart of the father Yep. And um, that's really the goal. I think a lot of people are um, just burnt out, burnt out by life, burnt out by ministry. Um, they're doing good they're things. They're doing good things. Yeah. Like they, you can do a lot of good things, but there's the your your spirit just gets empty. And so it's kind of like I heard um, really the other morning. I woke up. I heard my spirit, a Holy Spirit fueling station, you know, and rest and restoration. And so it's just for people who need to get their get filled back up and reconnect with God and have their intimacy. Um, just brought back into their relationship with God mm -hmm. that they can come in and get some rest and restoration and refueled and we not, we're not sure what that is going to look like exactly no. um, we know like facilities if we will maybe host retreats weekend weekend yeah. things week long things something to that effect yeah, um, and even do or revivals like small like revival groups can come in and do uh, stuff like that yeah and uh, just you know people who are burnt out you know if they need to come to our farm um Everybody talks about how peaceful our farm is, and it's just, it's not us, it's it's, it's of the Spirit of God, you know, we host the presence of God, and we really, uh, we really try to do our best to live a life that's pleasing to Him, and give Him all the glory and, and the him. honor. Follow His leading, that's right. the, you know, no matter what He asks of us, mm. that's our desire to just, to go, when He says go, go, when He says rest, rest, when yep. He says jump, jump, you know, just, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think, I feel like a lot of people, you know, if they just had a place where they could get away for a few days and just be, get alone uh, with God, get alone with God and w we can feed them, we can give them as much space as they need, we can, uh, give them the shoulder we can pray they for need, them. yeah, we can be what the they, need they need, whatever they need, to, to rejuvenate and, and re recharge fire. them, yeah, rekindle their fire, and, uh, s let them go back out into the ministry, and, uh, that's what we really feel like God has called us to. Um, with that being said, <laughs> here we are. And, We're not uh, in a facility to do that. We're not in right. a place to facilitate that sort of ministry. And, and nor do we have the means to do that, but but God does. And uh, we've just really felt like we needed to do a video and, and just share our hearts with yeah. you all. We've been talking about that for a long time, doing a video and sharing. Because um, like I said, this is something God's really birthed in us a long time ago. And it's just been been gestating it's been growing and yeah. um and you know we just have felt more and more pressed to go ahead and make a video and just because we want to connect with you all and we want you to understand where our hearts are and what we're we're planning on doing with with our life um yeah because it i mean we've known for a long time that you know god gave us the desire to farm that is awesome i mean we are passionate we about farming but farming. you know i, I can't I imagine thought, not farming no and then i thought you know well how that's great 
how are we going to use the farm as a ministry? And, you know, my mind, I think, well, well, we can minister to the people that we're selling to, and, and you know, and, and, we're, and we do, we, and we do, yes, we do. But um, every encounter we have with people, you know, you have to look at life as every encounter is a divine encounter. Yeah. You know, what does that person need from God in that moment? And it's not about us. It's not like, oh, let us bestow something upon you. It's not that at all. It's just like, hey, you know, let's just share Jesus. Let's just share the love mm -hmm. of God and love of Jesus. And uh, yeah, so, uh, but that's where our hearts are. And um, yeah, we've been y'all um, just be praying for us that God will provide the place, the, the facility, doors. the farm, the land, the provision, the, the financial provision, the things that we... Logistic provision. <laughs> yes, logistics. Oh man, we have a ton of stuff to move. Yeah. <laughs> a ton. Uh, we just thought we had a lot when we moved here from Florida. Yeah. Well, anyway. We went through and got rid of stuff. So yes, we did. We, we finally, finally did went that. Went through all of our overdue. boxes and bags and stuff that was strewn about the dairy <laughs> when barn. We, when we packed up after the hurricane, there was no, obviously. Uh, Everything was labeled yeah. random stuff. Random stuff. There was no so, rhyme or reason. Everything was no. thrown in bags and boxes. It and, had and, to be. Yeah, it had to be. We were in our, I mean, we were, yeah. We it was had 95 to. degrees in the house. It was crazy, but uh, very surreal to think about it. Like, did that actually happen? Like, really? Yeah. But then we came and it just kind of got thrown in the dairy barn, except for the absolute necessities. And then over the course of the last year and a half or so, we go out there and dig through stuff to find something we need. And it's just. We hauled off 1,300 pounds of. Yeah, well, that wasn't junk. just our stuff. That was like stuff from around here, too. It wasn't just from the barn, but there was a lot of junk. That was mostly just from the barn. Because then I hauled a lot of scrap metal, too. Yeah, yeah. there was a lot of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so um, anyway. That's where we uh, are. We're, we're planning on making some videos mm -hmm. to get out to you with what's going on around the farm. But, um, really more what we've been um, focusing on is really we've been seeking God in his direction and um, we don't like we said we don't have anything I mean other than that I the, the idea and the plan on paper that's all we have we don't have we don't have a name for a ministry yet we don't have um, you know obviously the well, we do have a farm name we do have a farm name and we have not shared that with y'all no. because we plan on like announcing it in a video but I guess this would be a good time to share it with them yeah yeah, so so our farm, we went years, like eight years or something, without having a name for our farm, and we just we write names down, and <laughs> and they were either already taken, or and really overused. A lot of them, not I don't mean that in a negative way, no. but like a lot of farms with that name, and then or we just didn't feel right, and it was like um, been a little over a year ago. We were talking one day. And it just came to me like that. And I said, because we were talking about how God has promised us all these things. And slowly, step by step and surely, we're seeing them come to fruition in our mm -hmm. life. And I was like, fruition. That's it. Fruition farm. Because the yep. entire dream of the farm and everything that's happened with us getting these cows and um, everything has just cows, been. Cows, the pigs, the chickens, the turkeys, Yeah, everything the guinnies, we're doing. Just being everything. the milk cows. Everything yeah. is just another step in his promises being fulfilled and the fruition of what we've believed for and um and so that was it fruition farm so we we, we have, have a farm name we have a farm name yeah. so that's, that's our name we haven't because we're not um we've been selling some chickens and yep. stuff like that but we haven't fully stepped into like selling out everything yet um right. so we haven't really so yeah worked with the name like put the name out there much but we have yeah. an idea for a logo if any of you all are good with, uh, graphic what is it called? Graphic design. There's a spider web on my face. Oh. <laughs> you see the spider web coming across? Keeps blowing over on my face. Nice. But uh, anyway, Sorry. we, no, you're good. <laughs> if, uh, if any of you all are good with graphic design, we have an idea for a logo that we need to get put on paper or whatever, you know, created, generated, whatever you do. I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, comment below because we, we need some help with that. So uh, we've had a couple of people uh, work on some stuff, and uh, we're still tr still yeah. trying to get it dialed in yeah. a little tighter. But anyway, yeah. all right. All right. Well, we appreciate yeah. we <laughs> appreciate you all. Yes. Thanks for and watching our thanks videos. Thanks for supporting us and watching our videos, and we will catch you in the next one. Yep.